Hey, this is David at PDF Automation Station. In this video, I'm going to show you some tricks for adding and manipulating form fields with your PDF documents. First thing I'm going to do is go into form editing mode. I'm going to press shift control and number seven on my keyboard. And I'm just going to click no to that question. And I like to click this arrow right here to give me some more working space. I don't like to see that while I'm working. Here's all the form fields here. If I select a text field and place it right there, and I need to select another one, I have to keep going up here like that. If I don't wanna to have to do that, I can click this push pin icon right here that says keep tool selected. As you can see, it's off right now. If I click that, it'll turn blue and now it's on. Now I can just keep clicking and adding fields. And let me turn that off. I'm gonna add a field here. And if you look, there's some properties here in the appearance. You have no border. You have the font size as auto. You have a specific font as Helvetica. These are my defaults. I can change those. Let's say I want to have a, a black border. Uh, let's say I want a 10 size font and I want to change my font to Times Roman. So I'll close that. So now what I do is if I right click this, it says use current properties as new defaults. If I click that, now I have every field I add will have those same properties. So let's take a look. Yep, there's a black border, size 10 and uh, times Roman. You can you can set some other properties too and make them all your default. When you're done with that, if you want to go back to the way it was, no border, auto, this is what I like, and Helvetica, then I'll just right click, use current properties as default. Let's turn that on and take a look here. I'll add some fields. and you see the same uh, uh, default settings. If I wanna select more than one field, this is the easiest way here. I can just drag right around those. I'm gonna click or press the delete key, I'm gonna delete those. Something else you might wanna do, let's add a field right here. And because I have this tool selected, it automatically is prompting me to, to add another field. If I want to get out of that, just press the escape key twice and it goes away. And I'm going to turn that off now. So text 49, I'm going to rename this field. I'm going to call it name. So now if you have more than one field with the same name, it can only have one value. And this is a good a trick for example if you have a name field in three different places you only have to type it in once and the same uh, value will go into every field if you want to duplicate this field just select it press ctrl c for copy and then press ctrl v as many times as you want to to add that field and you'll see what happens here when i type into the first one. Take my name David and tab out of that field and they all say David and you can't have anything different because they have the same field name. So I'll delete these. I'll add another text field. Now let's say I need a, a column of 10 fields, I can right click that, select create multiple copies, 
and it already defaulted to two down and two across. You could see that there. Um, I only want one across. So there's my one. The one field, the original always counts as one. So it's showing two fields down. If I reduce that, it's just one field. So you want one down, one across. I can click this arrow and just keep adding more down. Or I can type in the number. I type 10 and I can just hit the enter key now or click OK. And there's my 10 fields. I'm going to press now control Z and that's going to undo that. Let me add a few more fields here. And sometimes this happens, you end up with all kinds of different sizes. If I want to resize these all, what I'm going to do is select all of them. Again, I'll drag a box around that. And this is important. Whichever one I want the size to match, that's the one I'm going to right click. So I'm going to do this text 50. I'll right click. And then it says set fields to same size. I can do height, width, or both. If I do width, see they're all the same width now, but they're different heights. I usually do both when I'm doing this. Just click both. Now they're all the same size. Another thing you might want to do is align these fields. Let's say I want to put them all right on this line. Again, I'm going to select all these like that. And whichever one I right click is the one that the alignment will follow. So I'll do text 50. I'll right click. It says align, distribute, or center. I'm going to align horizontally. So they all follow this one. I just press control Z to undo that to show you something. Where if I right click this text 52 here and do the same thing. Align horizontally. They align to that one. Um, you can move one field or all of them by pressing the arrow keys. I'm going to press the arrow up key a number of times till I have them right on that line. Again, if I needed to align all of these on the line, I can select them all. I can right click this one and align horizontally. You can also align them vertically. So let's do, let's try that. Align vertically. Horizontally again. And I'm using the arrow key to move these. And that way it won't mess up my vertical alignment. So now I have a row of fields. Let me uh, line these up a little better here. I can create multiple rows just as I created multiple fields. So I would select this entire row. I would right click any one of these in this case. Create multiple copies. And across is defaulted to one. That's because there's only room this time for um, one set of these fields on this page. So it won't let me change that. So down is two and you can see the two um, rows here. Notice the name text 50, 51, 52. I'll show you what happens. Let's make 10 rows and click OK. And you see the names change. The text 50s in 51, a period and a zero was added. And then all the new fields have a different name. 50.1, 50.2, 50.3. And that's actually helpful in, with some math calculation trip tricks and some scripting 
uh, tricks that I'm going to show you in a future video. So that's all I have for you today, but thanks for watching.